Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the Cool DCB YouTube channel and today we're going to be talking about the Battle Pass Season 3 and what it has to offer. Before we get into the video guys I just want to say thank you to Dynamic.Graphics for sponsoring my channel and guys if you want to go and have a look at his Instagram account there will be a link in the description and he makes some awesome thumbnails and channel logos that are cheap to buy to make your Fortnite channel or any other gaming channel as such. He even does sports logos and stuff like that. He does giveaways and, and other stuff on his Instagram account. And I really suggest that you go over there and if you're a Fortnite channel, go grab one of his logos. And anyway, let's get into the video. No, I won't stop. Okay guys, so you guys know what's happening in this video and I just want to get straight into it now and I'm going to explain everything that's on their webpage and try and bring out my own opinions and I guess let's get straight into the video and uh, hope you enjoy. So the Battle Pass breakdown has been added to Fortnite's website so you can go have a look at that anytime you want um, and there's a few things they've added. Uh, I've got a quick look at the battle pass here for you now and the you can see the formats a bit different and they've also announced that there's going to be a hundred tiers rather than 70 tiers so this is so this is going to be a bit bigger and easy not well it's just going to be just as easy to collect the tiers as it was last season so there's on they've got a little graph here that will pop up on the screen showing you what the changes between last season and this season's battle pass is and whether it's worth and I'm going to give you my opinion on whether it's worth getting it and I can tell you straight away it is it's a great idea it's not a huge amount of money unless you want to get the battle bundle which I'll explain in a minute but you even if you don't get very high you get XP boosts and you can become a very strong level you can level up a lot quicker in Fortnite. Okay. So the new battle bundle in Fortnite you costs 2800 V-Bucks, which is quite a lot of money, but is it worth it? It depends. If you're planning on grinding the game a lot, then probably not. You might as well just go for the plain battle pass but if you've not got the ability to grind a lot and you know you probably won't complete it all the 25v tiers might be good for you and it's ch cheaper than just going for the whole 2800 as opposed to a lot more v bucks it would take to level up separately next on the agenda we have weekly challenges which have been added I'll show you a few clips of this a picture of what they've announced um, about how different it could be and uh, whether it's worth going to it um, whether it the weekly challenges whether it'll be worth doing those so these weekly challenges can potentially get you a lot of battle pass tokens so instantly I'm saying that would be a great idea go do that um, and it's also accessible throughout the whole season so if you miss a week you can go back and do it later um, but they so what they can you can see is it says you can complete four out of the seven weekly challenges to unlock your rewards so that makes it sound like you only need it's a lot easier to level up as such so that's all I've already got for you about the battle pass in season three um, but some other small things is that they will be adding the astronaut skin skins into the battle pass so keep ready get ready for that coming soon 
that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching. Go hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, goodbye.